one of the joys of any italki teacher is finding as many paying students as possible however the moment you start getting multiple students as an italki teacher it comes with its challenges and um, one of the challenges i especially experienced as a new teacher on italki is how to manage the different students how to know where you have reached student a and what topic to teach with to teach student b and to teach student c so that's what i'm going to talk about in today's video how you can organize your work as an italki teacher to different multiple students so you want to stick up to the very end of this video so you can learn more <music> To the channel if you are new here my name is Eva Mtali and this is Eva Mtali Finance your number one YouTube channel for all things side hustles working from home as well as passive income so if any of those topics sound exciting to you you want to make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and once you have done so please remember to also hit the notification bell which is on the right hand side of the subscribe button so that every single time I shoot a new video you do not miss out Without much further ado, how do you handle a case where as an italki teacher you have multiple students? How do you know which topic have I reached with student A and what topic have I reached with student B and what topic am I going to teach student C tomorrow? So this is one of the challenges I faced especially as a new teacher and what I'm going to share with you is what has worked for me as an italki teacher. This is my second year teaching italki. I teach my native the Lua language as well as Kiswahili and it's been nothing but a very very amazing joyous adventure so this video is going to be very very short I'm just going to share what my experience has been so usually what I do one thing that I thank God for is when I was in uni I learned how to type and so I have very high typing skills so my words per minute I think is about 60 to 70 words per minute so what I usually do every time I start a class with my student, most of my classes are either on the italki platform or on Skype. So what I do every time as I'm introducing a subject, as I'm talking, as I introduce a new word, I type everything out that I speak with a student. So if let's say we are discussing um, pronouns, for example, how to um, use pronouns in the Luo or how to say the different family relationships in um, um Kiswahili, for example, I will type out. So, for example, if I'm saying mama means mom, I'm going to type mama and I'm going to say is equal to mom. So that's one way that I'm able to track where have I reached with student A, where have I reached with student B is by typing out everything that we discuss in class. So I don't have to remember, okay, maybe um, Jane's class is after three days. How do I remember where... I reached with Jane when I have like six students and six um, classes running concurrently. So that is one um, way you can do it is just by typing up as you are progressing with class, take advantage and type it up. And um, I didn't realize that this is something that the students found really useful until one of the, I think it's about a month ago, I saw one of the students had reviewed me that she was more excited when she actually learned that Eva had actually typed out everything that we had learned in class and it made her revision very easy. So that is one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is, um, which I don't encourage too much, is just to write down, yeah? So as you are having your class with, let's say, Jane, um, let's say you introduce pronouns, just write the date and write Jane and write pronouns. That's what we've learned today. Um, we've learned dates, we've learned blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can write down a piece of paper. Thirdly, italki has recently introduced a section on the platform that allow you to plan your lessons. So you can actually put your entire lesson plan on the italki platform. I personally don't use it before the class because 
um, all the students that I have, fortunately, our classes are very fluid. I don't usually have um, like a topic ahead of time. And fortunately, so far, I have had more than 150 classes. So I kind of have mastered most topics in my head. And we usually just go with the flow depending on maybe if the student travel would probably talk about the country they are in. Or right now, we have these issues between Ukraine and Russia. We'd probably talk about that. So I don't have like a fixed, um, this is what we're going to talk about in class today. So I'm not able to plan that out before because I just roll with them. Um, what the students wants to learn or what's going on at that point however um something you can consider if your classes are very structured let's say if you're having like a student who's just beginning and you know today we are gonna learn dates tomorrow we are gonna learn month the next day we are gonna learn how to say thank you you can put that in the italki platform alternatively you can um after the class and you know that we've studied a b c d that section the lesson plus outline has a section where you put what is the goal of the class? What are you going to cover? Blah, blah, blah. Activities, you can just put them back after you have learned so that it enables the student to go back and just practice and see how best they can, you know, just um, recap what was captured in class. So those are the four main um, ways you can use to track um, where you have reached with different students in the different subjects. Personally, as I've mentioned, I prefer to just type it out as we move along with the class again because my typing speeds are very high sometimes between 70 to 80 words per minute so that works in my favor if you can type you can take advantage of that if you can't type just write down any new um topics you introduce just write down on a book or get a diary or something and just write the name of the student and um, the date and probably the topics you have covered so that has something you can also consider well guys that's it for today in terms of how you to track uh, where you are with your different students as an italki teacher or on any other um, teaching english online or any other language teaching platform out there as usual if you found this video helpful please give it a like leave a sweet comment below and share it with all other online teachers that might also find it useful Thank you for staying up to the very end of this video. I definitely look forward to meeting you on the next one. Bye, guys.